Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, feel free to write me at walkwithtak at gmail.com if you have any questions regarding this video or any other video that I have posted in the past. I will be able to answer your question more fully uh, through email. If you have any comments, recommendations, and suggestions, I'm looking forward to hear from you as well. Uh, in today's video, I would like to show you how to season a carbon steel wok, one that is expensive and that one is very cheap. Uh, recently, I came across this carbon steel wok uh, for $7.45 at Aldi. It is 50% off. The original price of this carbon steel wok is $15, which is still an excellent price. I bought one last year at $15 and I did a video on it and I really like this wok. And when I saw this wok for $7.45, I couldn't resist and I bought another one uh, so that I can use it on reserve to give it to a friend and I did another review on it. So today I'd like to use this wok as an example to demonstrate the differences uh, between seasoning a wok that is expensive and a wok that is inexpensive. The goal in uh, seasoning a carbon steel wok with a natural surface is to create a non-stick cooked surface. And it is relatively simple to do uh, using my spot seasoning method. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how well this $7.45 wok can be seasoned using this method. I had this wok for about a year and I use it uh, uh, on a uh, irregular basis. As you can see, I have not used this wok for a while, probably about three months. And the surface of the wok look uh, kind of dry. And you know that if I uh, do not season it, food will stick to it. So to use this method, I first by adding two tablespoons of canola oil. And, uh, and I'm going to turn the heat all the way high. I'm going to heat up the oil until it starts smoke gently. And I call this method spot seasoning because I season the wok right on the spot. And it takes only about 15 seconds. And this uh, seasoning process occurs uh, when the oil temperature reaches its smoking point. And once the oil starts to smoke, I turn the heat down to prevent the smoke get out of control. I let it smoke for about 10 to 15 seconds, and this is time when the wok is being seasoned. And to demonstrate the seasoning process, I'm going to cook an egg dish, which is an egg scramlet. Uh, this dish is really critical for the wok have a non-stick cooked surface in order for the dish to work. So this is a good demonstration. Uh, after I add the egg to the wok, I turn the heat back up and then I add some mushroom in creating this scramlet. By having the heat back up, uh, I'm able to cook the dish much faster. I use the wok spatula uh, to push the egg from the outside toward the inside. Uh, this will create space uh, for the uncooked egg to fill. As you can see that the egg does not stick to the surface of the wok at all. And uh, next I add some uh, pepper which includes some jalapeno pepper and I use the wok spatula to fold the egg over the ingredients as you would with an omelette. And this is the reason why this dish is referred to as a scramlet. As you can see here, this dish will not work if the egg sticks to the bottom of the wok. And this is why the seasoning of the wok is really important to create a non-stick cooked surface for this dish to be cooked effectively. So as you can see here, even though I have not used the wok for quite some time, and you look at the surface of the wok, uh, in the beginning it's very dull. I suggest that whatever the oil surface that coat the wok has gone. And so in order for it to have a non-stick cooked property, it is important to season the wok. And using the spot seasoning method, for only about 15 seconds, you're able to create a non-stick cooked surface. As indicated in this demonstration, uh, nothing stick to the bottom of the wok at all. As demonstrated in this video, uh, this inexpensive carbon steel wok work extremely well. In fact, based on my experience, uh, the cost of the carbon steel wok really has no difference in terms of how well they can be seasoned. And after all, uh, the effectiveness of the wok and its functionality depend heavily on its ability that, uh, to be seasoned in creating a non-stick cooked surface. So from this standpoint, uh, you can pay uh, very little for a carbon steel wok such as this one 
or you can pay a lot of money for a carbon steel wok that costs maybe as much as $250. Uh, the ability to season them in create a non-stick cook surface is actually no difference at all. And so the question that you might ask is that why some carbon steel wok cost so much more than others? Well, the reason actually uh, is probably more simple than uh, you realize. Uh, because uh, the expensive carbon steel wok, they're heavily marketed and they uh, claim that they have uh, special features such as some of the carbon steel wok said they are pre-seasoned and what it really is is that they put a coat of a vegetable resin on the surface of the wok uh, before they uh, ship it out. So the end result is that uh, you will have a protective layer which also uh, can prevent food from sticking. And unfortunately, within a very short time, you need to re-season this wok again. But at the time, you can use my spot seasoning method uh, to create a non-stick cook surface without any problem at all. So in summary, is that uh, the price of the carbon steel wok really uh, does not affect how well the wok will perform under different type of situations, uh, particularly for its ability to be seasoned. A lot of time, why one walk is better than the others is very much of a personal preference. I have known many people uh, all have their special walk that they prefer, and I have the same preference too. And my personal preference is a Cucina 14 inch stainless steel walk. However, I can cook in almost any walks out on the market except walks with non stick coating. I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. If you'd like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.